Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are doing something really exciting. We are going Funko Pop hunting over at the Hollywood store. And I mean, why waste our time outside? Let's go in. And now as soon as you walk in, you can see there are some pretty interesting things like a giant Groot as well as this huge Funko Hollywood Pop box. And then on the right of that, we've got a bunch of Valentine's Day stuff as well as some of the holiday t-shirts and also the most I've ever seen in one place for these guys. Oh, and then it looks like we also have some of the advent calendars, some of the Mandalorian boxes from GameStop. So they literally have a bunch of different exclusives from different stores here. You can see the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade figures as well as actually more of them. And then, oh, here is the brand new one where mine hasn't actually arrived yet. But you guys can see this thing does look amazing. Wait, what was that? See, oh my gosh, it's 30% off the Christmas stuff. Oh. Look. Christmas oh, I didn't even notice this table here. Okay, we might have to get something. Okay, we are getting something. Oh, for sure. I just mean in the Christmas stuff. You know what I mean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now speaking of the Christmas stuff, let's take a look at them over here. And I know, I know I should probably be getting these today. I can't bring these home. Okay, so I came over to the other side, guys, and this is what the Christmas section is looking like. And oh, no. Okay, this is another one that I cannot bring home, but seriously is amazing. And as you guys probably know, I am a huge fan of Elf. So to see this here, it really hurts me to not get it. But maybe, maybe we can get the pin instead. That might be a good compromise. Yes. Also, if you're wondering why it's so loud over here, it's the falls right behind us with Black Panther. And now actually speaking of Black Panther, let's take a look at the Black Panther section where they've got some of the lounge flies as well as the exclusive one here at the Funko Hollywood store, Black Panther with waterfall. Ooh, this might be something fun to get. Especially because it is exclusive to here and this is the actual setup they've got right there. And now I guess let's go over to the right a little bit where you can see even more Black Panther stuff like the Shuri comic cover as well as the Shuri Blacklight and then the Shuri Legacy Collection. Well, they really like Shuri over here. <laughs> oh, and now take a look at this. It's all of the Guardian shit pieces from over at Walmart. You can see them all together. Ooh, okay, now I'm not gonna be getting this today just because it is kind of crazy, but now that I see them all together, I might want to collect the entire thing. And now, everybody, we've got to come into the Marvel section. Well, actually, a little bit more into the Marvel section because we already took a look at Black Panther, but we've got to take a look at these guys over here like Thanos. And it looks like over in this section, we've got a bunch of the Eternals. I think, yeah, they've got an entire spot for them. And then over here, guys, we've got the Infinity Warp section as well as a Stan Lee t-shirt, which I don't think I've ever seen in person before. Ooh, I'm liking that art, though. And it kind of reminds me of the pop comic cover that came out a little while ago. I wonder if it's based on that because he's kind of in the same pose with the same outfit. And then over here on this side, guys, we've got a huge wall of stuff with a giant Star-Lord over here and then a huge Yondu at the top. I mean, come on, guys. It just keeps going. It's going to be hard to show everything. Oh, and now here's something interesting that kind of stood out to me. This Captain America Pocket Pop and T-shirt bundle. Never seen this before. Now over on this side, guys, we've got some of the three-liter Juggernaut sodas as well as a bunch more of the comic cover, some of the Walgreens exclusives like Elsa of Bloodstone. And I know guys that it is super blue over here, but there's still some really amazing characters. That's why I wanted to show them off. And also, the first time I've ever seen this Captain Marvel one, wow, that is amazing. Oh, and then over here on the opposite side, they've got the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness stuff with a lot, a lot of figures. And oh, some WinterCon stuff as well as Miles Morales. And we've got a bunch of the older Spider-Man ones, but still from No Way Home. And I wonder if they'll have the newer wave of characters here. You know what? I don't know. Oh, but you know what I am seeing is a lot of the Beyond Amazing Spider-Man stuff. Like, look Look at this box here. That is crazy. Okay, so we're coming out of the Marvel stuff. And before we go on to the next room, I just wanted to show you this here, guys. The massive Groot. I know I made a video a little while ago talking about the world's largest Funko Pop, but I think this one here definitely takes the cake. Now, everybody, I've made it into the Wizarding World section where there is a lot of these guys. And I got to show you guys this spot over here because they've got a lot of the deluxe characters. I mean, they look amazing all together. And then take a look over here, guys. We've got some of the ones from Fantastic Beasts as well as them sitting at the table over here where you can actually take a picture. It's really well done. Oh, and then over here we've got some of the lounge fly as well as bigger figures, and it's just really cool to see it all together. Oh, and then take a look up here. What is up with this Hagrid? It's got that little, like, shared sticker on it. I have no clue what's going on here. And then everybody, as we walk through these doors over here, you can actually find the Hall of Justice with Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, and Robin. Oh, I don't remember. Yeah, I guess he was there. Oh, and then I didn't even notice Cyborg. And I gotta say, this section is looking crazy. Like, we've got a lot of exclusives over here, like some of those comic book ones. We also have the, ooh, one left of the light and sound flash, which is a great one. And then up at the top here, take a look at this, guys. The Pop Comic Covers Green Lantern. That one's amazing, especially because it's a completely new character inside. And then in the middle here, we've got a bunch of Batman stuff, as well as this Batman t-shirt, which I have never seen before. It's a pop one, which is pretty cool, as well as this, like, normal, like, 
Batman logo. We've got some of the Batman. And then up here, this is the one. The Entertainment Earth exclusive Batman comic cover. This thing is just so cool, especially because we've never got a Batman like this with this kind of like cape in the front there. All right, now everybody, I'm gonna walk a little bit farther out of the DC section and into, I believe this would be Disney. I mean, there's Elsa, and then we've got Anna, so maybe it's just Frozen, I don't know. But it looks like it's all just Disney in general. So we've got like Smee with Skull Rock, as well as Cogsworth, and I know that this one has a chase, but I'm guessing it's probably gone. Well, hold on, what is this over here? I can't even take it. I know, this, there's too many things. I have never, like, like it's kind of crazy guys because the amount of stuff that they've got here, I haven't seen like half of it. Like I've seen most of the pops, but for this stuff here, never. Looks like I found another Disney section with a bunch more lounge fly as well as some of the Funko Shop exclusive stuff. And what I really enjoy about these ones is because they're gold, they also have the golden stickers on the front. Oh, and now here is another interesting section guys, the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World stuff with like Claire with Flair as well as a lot of the bigger Target exclusives, the FYE exclusive Atrociraptor Panther. Oh, hold on Panthra, sorry about that, but then we've also got like the T-Rex down here and then the giant movie poster, which seriously looks amazing. Oh, and then they even have the three pack over here with Therizinosaurus, Gigantonosaurus, and T-Rex, just like the end of the movie. Oh, and then I can't forget about the photo op behind me, guys. Check this out, the actual park vehicle with a T-Rex behind it. It's like breaking out of the wall. And then of course you've got Dr. Ian Malcolm in the back there, a little bit wounded. Found some more Disney stuff, more specifically the villains. And if you guys wanna take a look here, I think they've got pretty much all of the new stuff as well as a bunch of the bags up top here. But I really do enjoy the variety of things that they've got, like the sodas, as well as these ones down here, the Hot Topic exclusive blacklight ones. And then down there's some more Hot Topic stuff. And then over here, we've got like the Evil Queen on Throne. Definitely cool. Now, hold on guys, I think we ran into somebody over here having a bit of a problem. <laughs> oh, no. oh, is this a balloon? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's kind of oh, neat actually. I saw God. you though just like reaching for the back <laughs> one. I was like, what is she doing over here? One. But it looks oh. like you ran into some more Disney stuff. Actually, they're kind of everywhere when it comes to Disney. Like back there was kind of like the princesses and stuff like that. Sure, do you have that one? Yes, I do actually. I ordered that one on the Funko Shop a little while ago. But this epic Mickey one, oh my gosh. Okay, that is really neat. And I'm wondering, maybe this is the only way they could get like the Oswald license? Because I remember they could only make Oswald if they did like the epic Mickey game. So that is kind of interesting. Oh no, take a look over here, guys. We've got like Goofy at his own pizza place. And they've got like Christopher Robin, some of the Hot Topic Expo stuff. And then Clarabelle Cow, which I don't believe I've ever seen in person because we did go to New York Comic Con this year. But yeah, I don't remember seeing her. Now I figured I might as well show this nook over here because it is the most blacklight nightmare before Christmas stuff I have ever seen. Like down at the bottom there, we've got like this mug. And then up here, this lounge fly bag. Okay, I'll hold on here, mom. I thought you were going for one bag, two. Are these gonna fit in your suitcase? Well, let's hope they do. I found the Funko Verse section, actually, as well as the other games, but I wanted to show you guys these ones here because they have one that I have never seen before, the brand new Squid Game one, where you actually, I think there's something about winning the money inside of here, and then the mask comes off and on in the character. It's pretty interesting. Oh, and now over here, guys, is the sports section. Now, I'm not gonna go too in detail because of the amount that they've got, but I figured I might as well pan through it if you guys wanna check them out. Now, up in the front here, it looks like we've got a bunch of these cereal as well as ad icon mascots as well as, Mom, are you looking at another no, bag I'm over here? Okay, I'm okay, okay, all right, all right. All right, all right. Just, just making sure, because this is what now? Oh, you still only have the two? Okay, yeah, you know, it's not too bad. That's, okay, really I didn't cute. see the wallet, but whatever. I don't care, as long as it fits, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. And then over here, guys, we also have this one, which I'm debating on getting, because I don't remember ever seeing it. It is the Who Framed Roger Rabbit Pop Pan. And I don't know, it's one of those ones that you just don't see very often, and I don't have the original figure, so I'm probably gonna go for it. Oh, and then check this out, guys. Right behind us, we've got the Marvin the Martian. This is amazing. Now, I came over to the Care Bear section to see what they had, and if you guys take a look in the back, they actually had the True Heart Bear Chase. Now, I do already have this one in my collection, so I'm gonna be saving it for somebody else, but still really cool to see here. And I figure since we're here, and this is something you don't see very often, I might as well show you guys the big figures. So we've got like Chester Cheetah with the giant bag of Cheetos. We also have, ooh, a bunch of animation stuff over here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyways, let's get into these over here before we dive into that stuff. We've got like the Pillsbury Doughboy as well as the Tez Girl, which is really cool. And then over here on the far side, we've got like, ooh, the Jetsons. And what I think is great about this place is that pretty much everything is a great photo op. And then to the left of the Jetsons, we've got the Capping Crunch, as well as Crunch Berry Beast, where you can take a photo in the cereal, and then take a look at him over here. This thing's amazing. You know what, guys? I almost forgot to talk about him, but we can't forget Fred Flintstone in the middle. And you know what? Over in this section, guys, they have a bunch of the retro toys, like the Stretch Armstrong t-shirt, as well as a bunch of ones like Barrel Full of Monkeys. We've got the Trouble Board. And then if you take a look up top, they've got a working carousel with a bunch of different things on it, like Peeps, as well as... 
Ooh, Mr. Owl. And then on the far side here, if I keep circling around, we've actually got a Sour Patch Kid. And now here's something that I want to point out because Funko, we need this in an adult size. A Funko Soda Refreshingly Fun t-shirt. Also, I just noticed here, I don't know if this is for sale, a $6 Funko lanyard and there's one left. Ah, sign me up. Oh, now here's another fun section, kind of like just stuff that you can pretty much only get here or the Funko shop. And this one here is like Skiing Freddy as well as the Birthday Freddy, if you know anybody that really likes Funko and has a birthday coming soon. And now I gotta show you guys this because it's another exclusive corner that they've got with just like a bunch of stuff that you do not see at any other store. And also, Mom, what are you looking Oh! Look. T-shirts, Funkoville, and then I see you've got the Fright Night 2 and that I was never actually we able to get. Never able to buy that one. And no. This one, they don't have your size in. Oh, that would have been really cool. Is, but I'll keep Let me looking. see it. Oh, it's the Ooh, Hollywood. That would have been neat. Let me see if we can show that off. Oh yeah, that would have been real cool. Okay, so I've been walking for a little bit longer, and you could probably tell I'm somewhere else based on the color of my face right now, but we are over in the Star Wars section. Kind of looks like Tatooine. And now over here in this corner, guys, we've got a bunch of Star Wars stuff that goes along very well with the section that we're in, like some of these ones up here, which I do need for the collection like this Chewbacca here, the last one left. Ooh, I might have to go for it. But the problem is once I get one of them, do I get the entire set? It's kind of tough to choose. Oh, and then right behind me, guys, it looks like they have a giant C-3PO as well as R2-D2. How's it going, guys? And now it looks like we've made it into the cantina with a giant Boba Fett as well as over here. Hold on, let me sit down before I show you who I'm sitting across from. <laughs> Could be a problem. Oh, and then to the right over here, guys, we've got some of the ones behind the table over there. They're looking really good. And then Jawas above that. I mean, there's so many things to look at. Oh, and then check this out over here, guys. We've got some of the light and sound Darth Vader. And if you've never seen this one before, let me show you here. Yeah, the whole thing lights up. And you can't hear it too well, but there is some sound for it. This room is crazy. Look at the anime ones. Oh, and I have a feeling a lot of you guys are going to be excited about this. They actually have entire sections of Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. And then over here, I noticed a bunch of the tie-dye ones. I mean, come on. This is the most I've ever seen in one spot. Oh, and then hold on, guys. Right behind me over here by Tracer, they actually have more Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. <laughs> and plush in the corner. And now just past the Five Nights at Freddy stuff, we've got an entire Simpsons section. Then we also have this t-shirt over here, a sweater that I've never seen before. It's Freddy, almost like Astro Boy. And then we've got some of the South Park ones with the school, as well as Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and actually a bunch of video game stuff. Oh, and now check this out, guys, over here. We've got a big anime section. I know my brother is a huge anime fan, and I'm also noticing some stuff that I know he's never seen before, like these here, as well as, ooh, I might have to grab these for him, guys. The pop pins. Yeah, I know he definitely does not have them. Now, the funny thing is, guys, the room keeps going because over here, I found some One Piece stuff and it looks like, I think, I'm just making sure here, I think Noah has every single one of these here, which is honestly kind of crazy. And then over here on the opposite side, we've got like Yu-Gi-Oh! as well as Full Metal Alchemist and some Cowboy Bebop and Bakugan up there. Those look really great. Now, everybody, I've ran into the My Hero section where they have, I mean, like, a, I mean, I feel like I've said this almost every time, the most I've ever seen in one spot. Like, seriously, this store is amazing. I believe I found the movie section here, just like TV and movie, because over here, they've got some really great stuff, like some of the Ted Lasso ones, the Walmart exclusive Friends Pocket Pops. Did, did, when did these come out? Anyway, really cool to see. And then we've also got like this wallet over here of the couch and then a bunch of the Pinocchio ones. Oh, and funny enough, I don't think they have Pinocchio. Oh, that's too bad. And then to the left over here, oh, check this out, guys. We found two chases down here, the Pam as well as Daryl ones, which are really cool to see. And then we've got just a bunch of the office as well as signs felt all together. Oh, didn't even notice also two more chases up here for the Seinfeld ones. They're just so big, I don't think I could bring them home. Then way up top there, guys, it looks like Freddy is manning the show, and down here we've got a bunch more stuff. And it looks like this is movies. Oh, we've got like the Mighty Ducks over here, as well as Einstein. And this one here is really cool. If you guys didn't know, if you buy this one, a bit of the proceeds, or maybe all of the proceeds, go to the ASPCA. And so I was lucky enough to get one of each of these off the Funko shop, and they should be in soon for us to check out together back at the office. And now I found another area over here, which is actually the Stranger Things section. And there's a lot of stuff to look. Oh, um, well, this here is The Witcher in Star Trek. I don't know why it's here. But what I do know is that this is the Stranger Things stuff with the Demogorgon coming through the wall. We've also got Eleven over here. And then this entire section of really, really cool figures. And it's neat because they also have the Amazon exclusive Eleven. And now check out this photo op over here. I gotta take a look at it because I 
can go, if you guys can still hear me, all the way up here to be on top of the dragon. And then just past the Game of Thrones section, we have the horror one, and oh, they're too big to bring home. And what I love about this section is that they didn't just do big Funko Pops, they actually did the mystery mini. So we've got like Jason Voorhees, the creature from the Black Lagoon. Okay, well, well Beetlejuice is a pop, but a couple of them are different, like Michael Myers over here, as well as the Freddy Krueger. And I really do enjoy that they did that, because you don't get to see these guys huge very often. Oh, and then take a look at this, guys. We've got Pennywise in the sewer over here. Ooh, kind of creepy. And now coming into the horror section, they've actually got a bunch of Boo Hollow stuff, which I feel like, Mom, you're probably going to really enjoy. This is gorgeous. Look at this bag. I mean, that does look great. Is it lounge fly? I've never in my life seen it that It must bag. be a lounge fly. No, you know what? I think, okay, I hate to spoil your fun here, but I think I saw this at Hot Topic once. It's a Funko bag. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. And then over here, we've got like the E.T., and I believe this one here might be the glow-in-the-dark version. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no, this is him with Reese's Pieces. Oh, and then a little fun fact about this one up here, guys. This was the best pop of 2022 that you guys voted for. Really cool to see it here with a bunch of them all together. Oh, and then when you come in the horror section, there's a bunch of stuff up top here, like Elvira as well as the Slimer, and then a bunch of pictures of different characters, like Nosferatu. Nosferatu! <laughs> And now a section that I actually haven't taken a look at yet is the Funko Gold one, where they've got like LeBron James over here, as well as Notorious B.I.G. on that side. And then this is like the biggest place I've ever seen with, I mean, it makes sense, it's the company, but it's still the most Funko Golds I've ever seen in one spot. And it looks like they even have some chases on the shelves still. And there was one here that I passed by earlier and seen, like this chase one over here. Oh, actually, that one's really cool, the Russell Wilson. But over here, there was like a limited one. Yeah, here it is right here, guys. The Kawhi Leonard, <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, and then I didn't even notice right above that, they have a bunch of the LeBron James limited to 3,000 pieces as well. And now we've got the music section with so many different ones to choose from. And also this one over here, probably one of my favorites, Willie Nelson. This one was actually one that my grandpa had in his collection. And I could go and grab it, but I like to keep it up in his room, you know? And then over here, I noticed that they have this super limited edition Bella Porch t-shirt left. And if there's an, oh, come on, please be a large, please be a large, please be a large. Oh no, there's only a small. I don't know why, but I've been trying to get every single Bella Porch product they've ever made, and they only have smalls and extra smalls. Ugh, I'm gonna have to pass on it for today. Oh, and now I know it is a little after Christmas, but they still have the ornaments, so I figure I might as well show them. And there's some really great stuff here in the Christmas section, like over in the corner, Mom, I know you just pointed it out to me, but the FAO Schwartz Toy Soldier, and it looks like the chase is gone, and that's the only one I would be on the hunt for. And they're 30% off. Oh, true. I wonder if that one counts. Probably. Oh, and you know what, guys? I almost totally forgot to come over here. They have the Toy Story section with a bunch of really cool characters. I mean, look at all of them together. And now here is a section that I totally missed. The Little Mermaid with Flounder as well as Ursula. And then I just noticed these tiny little Funko fish up at the top. I wish I had one of those in my collection. And now as we're getting in line to check out, I am noticing that there is soda coolers up here, which I'm probably going to have to grab something from, as well as a giant Popsy section. Then over here, some more sodas. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, and then I just noticed over here, guys, in the other Popsy section, they have Buddy the Elf. Does someone need a hug? As well as Mr. Narwhal. I have to get this. And just like that, everybody, we got our stuff, so let's get out of here. Alrighty, so we are back. And now let's go through everything that we picked up because I feel like you got some pretty interesting stuff. But then I also did too, but you also picked up more than I thought you were going to. I thought I was getting nothing. I thought I was going to pop myself and mm -hmm. have a look around, be your support person oh, for sure. actually, before you continue, if anybody wants to watch the Pop Yourself video, we did put one up a little while ago and it was a lot of fun where you can actually create your own figure of yourself. But anyways, anyways, sorry, let's get back to it here. Right, so I was really just going along for, you know, for company just for fun yeah have sure. a look around i've been there once before and i loved it so i knew it was going to be fun but i really think that because it was just after christmas they had a bunch of things on sale which yes. i was right into and they had more product i think than the last time we were there when we were there the first time i think it had opened recently or right it would joe just opened that year right mm -hmm. so and this time it was there was a ton of stuff and i'm a little more into lounge fly now than i was then right. one of the items i saw as, as soon as i came in the front yes. door were, were all the lounge fly bags and so i had a hard time I'm deciding because there was this one <laughs> right there was the one that was like the mickey mouse and he was like a like a hot chocolate thing okay and there was the stocking one that i was oh, really in the gingerbread into. house oh i forgot about the it was a full gingerbread house i don't know if i showed it in the video but if i could find a photo i'll pop it on the screen and 
a lot of them were the crossbody ones, which are my favorite. Okay, yeah. And I and figured then, might as well, yeah. Right. And so one of the reasons I picked this one is because they also had, because there wasn't a lot of stuff left because it was on sale. Right. There was a wallet that went with it as well. So that kind of pushed me over. Pretty fancy. Plus, this was every time Loungefly posted uh, pictures of the Christmas line, this was the one I always kind of zoomed it in. It kind of stood like, out to you? Yeah. Because I love a good crossbody, and this one is the crossbody. And I'm mm. not sad that Christmas is over because I'm going to use it next year. It's of course. Gorgeous. It's you can use gorgeous. it every year. Yeah. Oh, it's so got Chippendale butts on the back. Yeah. Yeah, really cute. Yeah. Lightweight <laughs> crossbody and the matching wallet. And it was 30% off. Right. All Christmas stuff at 30% right. off. So we did get a lot of that today. We did. But we also got a bunch of other stuff too. And because it was the price of retail and then 30% off. I was right. like, what? Yeah. Can't what? complain. It's crazy. So then I also really wanted, and I apologize, I don't have the box for this, but it was on the Christmas tree. Right. So, so yeah. I'd already put it on the tree when we got home. So uh, I'm a big, huge fan of Freddie Funko. I love Freddie Funko in all versions. And so I had no idea because I don't always um, watch the videos or not always checking things. So I didn't even know this was an option. So when I saw this in the uh, section, I knew I had to get this as well. Yeah, it was in the newer exclusive section, kind of in the middle there. Mm -hmm. And they had a lot of great stuff as well on the shelf. But this one was definitely the thing I guess that stood out the most. And actually, since we're talking about that area of the store, I also ended up grabbing this, which I believe is right next to the Freddy. It was the lanyard here, mm -hmm. which was only like six bucks, I believe. Mm -hmm. But it's got the uh, I visited here, like the I was there Funko. Mm -hmm. And then also the reason that I got it was because of this tiny little rubber Freddy on the side. I thought it was pretty cute. And then it also had as the Funko lanyard, which I really enjoyed. So good for going to a convention yeah, or yeah, yeah. a lanyard for something. It's mm -hmm. really cute. Then we can both show these. Sure. These were part of the impulse section. When you check out, you know, when you're waiting in line, they have these cool things. And so I didn't even know you were getting that. And I oh, was well, I, out. I mean, I saw the Mr. Narwhal. I have almost every single Mr. Narwhal product as well yeah. as Elf in general. Sure. So I figured I might as well go for it. It's pretty fun. Now, my question to you is, do people take these out of the package or they leave them in? Well, the nice thing is you could probably do either or because on mm. the side, if you look, it actually has a little to and from. So you could write your name on there, like right. on the side if you wanted to. But I feel like taking it out, you also get the name on the top or like whatever the little speech bubble where it says, True. bye buddy, or just Somebody need a hug. True. So you could do either or. I'm not giving mine away, so. It's no, I, I, it's funny. I actually haven't given mine away yet. No. Um, I feel like I will eventually, but for now, I don't know. They're just too nice to give away. I think, but if I should probably buy them and give them as gifts because they make a great, like it's a card, but it's mm -hmm. a little bit more than a card, but it's the price of a card. Well, so it's a great deal. Hear me out on this. Maybe buy ones that you already have to yeah. give away because yeah. then you don't feel like, well, maybe I should keep this for the collection. You could probably just, you know. Just wouldn't feel yeah. bad. Like you could even just give a, get a couple birthday ones and keep them in your desk or whatever. It's and true. if somebody's birthday, you have one ready. That's not bad. It's a good idea. This one though is not going anywhere. No, no. no these, no. they're staying. Okay. So the next thing I want to show you is something that was not on sale, but I just couldn't leave it at the store. No. So this is a beautiful bag that I've never actually seen in real life before. It was amazing. I've seen it like online, but I've never seen it in person. And so it is, it is it's like, like a balloon it's version like a of balloon. Minnie Mouse. Yeah, a balloon. And I think mm -hmm. there was a Mickey one as well. And so I'm a huge fan of the crossbodies, but this one is actually the best of both worlds because oh, right. it's yeah. a crossbody and a backpack. You can choose which Here, way you want to do it. You can see the back. So on the back there, it's got like the two hooks. And also, I know you were talking about the inside of the bag. I figure okay, I might as well show gorgeous. it. It's gorgeous. It's actually got like the Minnie Mouse balloons on the inside, yeah. which I thought were pretty cool. And now let me get into a couple of the things that I got because they were some pretty interesting stuff. And I want to talk about the t-shirts because I guess we can keep it on the Christmas theme for a second. You're actually holidays in general because I got kind of like a Halloween one and a Christmas one. Right. I just really enjoyed that they had like a bunch of this stuff yeah and check this one out guys it is the buddy the elf t-shirt and it says if you look here son of a nutcracker it's got buddy and then he's throwing snowballs in central park which looks right. really great and we again almost didn't get this because on our way in we saw all this great Christmas oh, right. stuff on sale and i we were overwhelmed like oh my gosh look here look here look here <laughs> and i'm like we should get this and you're like well let's look around first but I must have not listened and taken it and put it in the buggy, the cart, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then when we're leaving, I'm like, oh no, there's no more extra larges. And then it turns out when we were putting the stuff on the uh, yeah. on the counter. In I the bottom of our them. cart was the Because they were 30% off. So yes. Go, well, yeah, crazy. I mean, yeah, again, might as well go for it. And then everybody, the other t-shirt that I got, like I said, was kind of a Halloween one. And because we went to Fright Night, I don't know why I never picked up this shirt. I ended up grabbing the Fright Night 2 New York shirt. I thought it was a really cool one. It's got a bunch of different versions of Freddy, like vampire, skeleton, uh, zombie, Mommy. werewolf, as well as the jack-o'-lantern in the bottom of the crown. Like just overall a really cool one. And also we were able to get a bunch of the pins at New York Comic Con. And you stickers. Have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there were postcards, I believe. And then there were um, those 
vampire teeth. Yes. And, oh, we also got a bag, like a like a trick or treat bag. Right. Like the theming was crazy. And was everything so cool. had those logos on it, right. like those characters. So I thought it'd be fun to have the shirt to go along with it. So mm -hmm. maybe around Halloween, like I want to keep that shirt nice, but maybe around Halloween I'll throw it on, you know, for a couple videos and it's stuff a good, like that. It's a good memory. And the fact mm -hmm. that they just had it there, like it was like a little bit of a, whoa, can't believe that one. So oh, that was cute. For sure. Do you want to show off that figure that you got over there? Yes. So this figure was crazy actually, because I a great one. wanted this one so much. And it was a Target exclusive, so yes. we didn't get it. Oh, oh, actually I do want to mention this. And I think I talked about it while I was in the store, but you can find like pretty much any exclusive there. Like it's kind of like whatever Funko gets in, they'll put out. So you can find stuff like Target exclusives. I think I also saw a couple Walmart ones, maybe stuff like that. Oh yes, I did see the Walmart ones because they had the, uh, the giant um, deluxe moments, which I've only seen over at Walmart. So definitely a lot of cool stuff there. And you don't just get Funko Shop ones, you get pretty much anything that could be available right. at that moment. And this one was the one we, I wanted the most, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's my Chewbacca, so it's beautiful, and that was a cool thing. And again, it was the retail price, which yeah. is, I I know I'm a little bit slow on the take sometimes on this kind of <laughs> stuff, but I just kept going around going, well, how much is this? Well, how much is that? Oh, well, how much is this? Uh, I think they also the have retail. a card at the front, too, that you can look at for everything, yeah. mm -hmm. which is, on. maybe we should have grabbed one when we were walking in, um, but definitely exciting to find this for, like I think, like I said, 15 bucks, like exactly yeah. what you would find it pretty much anywhere else, which is amazing. Which is the best part, yeah, for sure. Now let's get into the gifts that I picked up for people, because I did end up grabbing three things, one for Noah, one for Emily and then one for my dad. So the one for Noah we ended up grabbing was these ones here, the Naruto pins. I'm pretty sure I showed them off while we were there. But then for the t-shirts, we ended up grabbing both the Hawkeye and then the Mickey Mouse one as a gingerbread. I went for both of these just because they were kind of like unique ones that I hadn't seen anywhere else. I believe mm -hmm. you can pick these up on the Funko Shop if you guys wanted to. And then here's the back of the shirts. They're definitely interesting. We picked this one for Emily because we Noah said she would like it. And it sure, was purple. Sure. It looked like a really pretty shirt. Actually. Well, she's a big fan of Marvel in general. And mm -hmm. I figured because like a lot of the t-shirts that they make are kind of like that gray or black so it is fun to get a different colored shirt and especially with this one here I believe is yeah kind of like a navy blue so both of them are pretty unique yeah so we got this one for dad because it's a kind of a souvenir of our trip to Disney and it has him in a Christmas perfect right we were also right? there around Christmas, Christmas and we don't go yeah. like you know around Christmas very often so we to get kind of like both things together was a pretty big bonus yeah and it was on sale no yes 30% off again retail price mm-hmm mm -hmm. <laughs> You want me to show the pin next? Sure. Okay, cool. Now, this one here is one that you didn't think I was going to grab. I remember no. you said that. No. But uh, I really do enjoy this one. I never did get the original ones. And again, we were in Disney, so I feel like I was thinking of Disney the entire time. Mm -hmm. It almost felt like to me, and I know it's going to sound kind of crazy, that I was in like an extension of Disney, with just like how crazy it is in it there. Is, yeah. No entry fee. You can get in for free, which is great. Yeah. And uh, this one here was I grabbed the Who Frame Roger Rabbit Roger Rabbit pin. Because this one here, I never was able to get the original characters. They came up before I started collecting. So to get the pin with the exact same sculpt, I figured was pretty good. And it's also kind of like fuzzy on the top there too. I like it when they do that with these. I don't know, it's just a nice bonus for these guys. I really enjoy them. And I and along that note of feeling like you were at some kind of an amusement place, like it really does feel, like it's a destination for sure. It's not oh, just yes. a store. It's not no. a store. So if you go there, you're going to spend quite a bit of time and you're going to definitely pop yourself. It's and true. You're probably gonna pick up this. Oh next yeah, one. oh I'm starting to reach for it because of kind of what you were talking about mm -hmm. there. With this, I grabbed the Black Panther one. I know I showed you guys this while we were there, but I mean it's literally like a giant display in the store. Why would you want to pass up on something like this that you could only pick up at the Hollywood location? And our family's really big on souvenirs, so when we go somewhere, we definitely want to buy souvenirs to remember. Yes. It, which. If we don't go, it's like, I can't remember. Did we go? Oh, yeah, we got the t-shirt. So mm -hmm. this is, to me, a very good souvenir because it is it, it is only at Funko Hollywood. Yes, like that. you have two locations, one in Everett, one in Hollywood, but you can only get this one over at the Hollywood one, very similar to how you can only get figures over at the Everett location. And I've noticed with all of the exclusives that they do, they're actually like displays that you can find in the store. So yeah. definitely neat to have this in the collection, especially because we've been to the store, we've seen the display in person. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think it's great. And again, retail price. So exactly. I'm not saying no to that. No, can't go very cool. Yeah, super cool. Cool. And well, everybody, there you go. That was our Funko Hollywood trip. And let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite section out of all of them? Because for me, I'm probably going to go with the Star Wars one because there's so many different photo ops in there. You could take a picture in a sand, a sand speeder, well, with the sand troopers in a land speeder, as well as go inside of the canteen and do like the who shot first scene with Greedo. And I feel like I kind of know what room you're going to pick. I'm going to pick the Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. A lot of great photo ops in there too. Oh yeah. I'm really a big fan of the Flintstones car mm -hmm. and the big cereal bowl. Oh, and right. I also like the che Chester Cheeto and the Kool-Aid man busting through the, um, the wall. So, right. so many opportunities. Of course. And anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and we'll see you tomorrow.